hello everyone so now we are going to do some more lab for checkpoint and you need to remember if you remember if you done cisco we have the ether channel link aggregation here if you want to bundle any interface we are calling here bond interface so that one you need to remember so let me take one switch we can do the lab here i will take one switch i need to check here we have more interface then we can take two interface and connect with the switch and make the ether channel in the checkpoint we are calling as a bond interface bond interface is like a ether channel in cisco it is bundling the physical interface from high will for high availability as you already know you are, uh, all are having the background from cisco so i think you already know that let me check here where shall we connect here let me check how many ports i have in the firewall i have only one port so i need to use some more ports so i can use this i think here what we done we assign some configuration so here we can do that one let me connect like this okay so this two we will try to make the bundle these two first we need to remove some configuration also already we do some configuration before remove and then we will do that ether channel so let me power on the checkpoint and till that one i will tell you the theory like what we can say means we will say ether channel is used to bundle the multiple physical interface into single logical interface in the checkpoint firewall we are calling that one as a what we can say we are calling the ether channel as a bundle interface same terminology we can say bundle interface is like a ether channel in cisco it is going to bundle the physical interface multiple physical interface into logical one logical interface okay so what we can do here it is simple let's see if the firewall is uh, still booting up so we need to bundle we have the option in the switch we can do ether channel i can go here in the switch uh, let me do the ether channel configuration here directly so already you will understand what i am doing i will write interface interface range e0 by 0 comma e0 by 2 okay i selected two interface i can write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk if you want trunk you can configure trunk what you need i need trunk so i done trunk here this two interface after that what i will do here channel channel protocol i will use lacp because lacp is a open standard we can use for any vendor not only cisco so for that purpose i am using lacp channel group i will make group 1 mode in the lacp we have active and passive so i will write here active so i configure the ether channel here okay let me write show ip interface brief and you can see here this is a ether channel i configure just now this one because this side we configure ether channel here i did not configure that's why it is showing down you can write show ether channel summary show ether channel summary and you can see here s capital s means layer to ether channel and you have d means down and we are using lacp and you can see here suspended this one because still other side we did not configure ether channel that's why okay here the firewall is ready and uh, i can put the password here i need to get the ip what ip i have to this firewall so i can access with graphically so for that one show interface interface eth0 and this is ip we have so we can access this firewall graphically so we can go here and we can paste this ip here and then after that we can log in so i am accessing the firewall with the gui okay with the gui i am accessing we are calling this is a gaia portal so in the gaia portal i will go here and i will click first you need to unlock this one to do any configuration and here we are using eth1 and 3 so here check 1 you did not configure anything here it is up and 3 also we did not configure 1 and 3 or which one 1 and 3 
so one is no problem it is up only and we did, we did not configure anything here three is done so what i will do here three i will make this up so i will enable here okay if you see i make three is also enable after that what we will do here if you click here add you have bond here click that bond and which interface you need to add you can add here we have one click this and we have three one and three i am saying right this one and three this one this two so i take on this one which one we need to use here we are using lscp so this option you will select in command you can give anything example if you want to give bond you can give bond or anything bond and uh, here group number we need to give anything i can give group anything i give one after that click okay ethernet one belongs to bridge and therefore okay before if you remember interface uh, we configure this one as a bridge so what we need to do first we need to remove from the bridge in the previous lab we done that one so how i can remove means let me go here to this interface click edit and i will go here and i will check here what i configure before here which one is edit here let's see interface 1 eth1 we configure this is a bridge if you remember so let me go here and bridge i will remove one and two we use so i will remove both one and two i remove so now it is not in the bridge so now i can bundle bridge we don't have any interface this one or if we are not using now let me delete this bridge bridge i deleted okay so now i can do the bond in the bond we have which interface here eth1 and 3 so this is 1 and this is 3 a number we can give anything command you can give anything i will write bond and this option we will select and click okay okay here we done that one and here what else that's all and here let's see what we are getting here in the switch you can go and write here show ether channel summary and see here ether channel is working perfectly in the switch you can see this one before you have here d but now you see s means layer 2 and you have capital u capital u is in use and this is a lacp and these are the interface two interface we use before you have suspended but now p p means bundle so ether channel we configure successfully okay so this two we configure ether channel so in the checkpoint firewall interface also we can configure as a ether channel and we are calling bundle okay bundle and here if you see in the switch you can see inside the switch it is working i hope it is clear in case if you have any doubts you can write in the comments so what we learn in our class we learn how to configure the ether channel if you are using one side is a checkpoint firewall one side is a cisco switch how to configure ether channel we learn and we verify here before ether channel is done here you can see suspended but after that you have here up okay so thank you bye